Uh, let's get to the start of the pay-per-view. The pay-per-view opens almost like it's a Monday night raw. Vince McMahon is out with triple H Stephanie and John Cena. And Vince is explaining the stipulation of our main event. If Cena's team loses, he's responsible for all four men losing their jobs. And triple H notes that it's four men with kids and bills coming in and it'll all be John Cena's fault. And he said, when Cena's team loses, they'll all come back and beg and plead to keep their jobs, but they're all still fired anyway. And then the fans will just completely forget about them. Like they have every other WWE superstar. And Stephanie said, as soon as they're gone, the fans will forget because they don't really care. Meanwhile, Stephanie points out that if her team loses, the authority won't be on TV every week, but they'll still be calling all the shots from the global headquarters in Stanford. And Vince stops her and says she and triple H would keep their desk jobs, but they would have no influence on the career of any WWE superstars. And he said that in the contract, only one person will be able to put them back into power. And Stephanie smiled, figuring it was her father. And then Vince says, no, it's John Cena. So they had to come up with an angle here for Cena to want them back. And Vince is telling triple H and Stephanie, that's how much confidence he has in them. And he says something like you're a McMahon. And he looks at triple H and says, you married a McMahon. And of course, Cena says, well, when you lose, there's no chance in hell you're coming back. So we have our stakes for our main event before we get any further into the show, just fundamentally, what do you think about opening a pay-per-view with a big promo like this? always like to have a great match. I like to come up. If you're going to have the pyro and all the pomp and circumstance, man, send a somebody that they really want to see somebody that they were talking about seeing on their drive over to the arena and somebody they've been talking about for a month, send them through the curtain right away. Let's get, give these people who've been sitting there. They probably left an hour early to drive to the arena. They got to the arena an hour early and they're ready for something and it ain't talking. Let's get to some action, man. This is, uh, such an interesting time in wrestling because I think so many fans were growing tired of the authority, but we're finally going to see the big payoff at the end. But then there's up next on the show, a team authority pep talk. Stephanie's promising her talent, more title matches, more power, more fame, and more money if they win. And you know, she's almost in tears saying we can't lose. And Triple H is promising this would be a moment in history where everything will change. He says, if you don't win, you won't be fired, but you'll wish you were. Because if you're a champion, you're going to lose your title. And if you're not a champion, and he's looking directly at Rollins, you never will be. 